the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Braves Beat episode. I'm Lexi. And I'm Emily. Lexi, Lexi, wake up. Whoa, sorry, I was uh, in Braves Beat Landia. All right, well, we've got a lot of news to cover, like literally a lot, so let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, everyone, get your running shoes on and let's conquer that hill like it's a piece of cake, a really long and exhausting piece of cake cake. But don't worry, it's for a good cause, the Braves Helping Braves Fund, and the best part, a free shirt. So even if you don't win the race, at least you'll have a stylish shirt to show off your participation. And hey, if you're a student, it's only $15. And for adults, it's $25. And for those little tiny tots under five years old, it's free. Click on that QR code and sign up now. That same day, Spring Fling will be held at the elementary, and it's a family event, so please bring your family. We've got bouncing houses uh, for the kids, not for the parents, just to clarify. And there's space paint, games, and food trucks. Oh, and I almost forgot. All proceeds go to Braves Helping Braves Fund. So come on out and let's have a fun day together. Or, you know, just watch your kids have fun while you awkwardly stand there and try to make conversation with the parents you don't know. Our talented choirs have returned home from their 14-day European concert tour, where they captivated audience in Austria, Germany, and France. Along with performing in some beautiful churches, they visited Mozart's residence, Versailles, and the Louvre, and many other cultural landmarks. The tour was certainly an unforgettable experience filled with musical and cultural enrichment. Our high school orchestra traded in their sheet music for sunscreen and ukuleles during their Hawaiian adventure. They also discovered that the ocean was not a suitable replacement for their instruments, despite their best attempts to serenade the sea turtles. But with a little bit of practice and a lot of aloha spirit, they managed to pull off some unforgettable performances. And let's just say, they're already planning their next trip to Hawaii to perfect their beachside harmonies. Over spring break, 14 Indian Hill students along with Mr. Atwood and Mrs. Burgess went on the first Latin trip since 2019. They traveled to Ostia, the ancient port city of Rome, and saw many historical monuments, such as the Pantheon, the Colosseum, Circus Maximus, the Vatican, and many others. They biked along the Appian Way and segued through the Borgschi Gardens while the Italian Air Force held their 100th anniversary celebrated overhead. I'm getting a little tired from all that news. Let's check out sports for the week. Hello Braves. I'm Nina Foad. And I'm Ellis Antady and welcome to this week's sports report. We've got a lot of news to cover so let's get into it. The baseball Braves got busy over this past spring break, heading down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to play in the Ripken Experience Tournament. We had a chance to interview junior Jonathan Kopp for about the trip. Roll the clip. Hey Braves. Today we're here with junior Jonathan Kopp for to talk about the baseball team's trip to Myrtle Beach over spring break, so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, we played three games on there. Uh, we started out pretty cold, but we finished on a good note, and I think it helped us um, come back home and start to play on um, a lot of our league games this year, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, what was the highlight of the trip for you guys? Um, probably the warm weather. Yeah. Um, it was really cold here at home before we went, um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a lot of fun. The fields were really nice, and um, it was just a great experience overall. And what is a big game to look out for this season? Um, definitely Reading. Uh, we play them towards, towards the end of the season. Um, so, yeah, both teams are going to have a lot of games under our belt, and it should be a pretty good face-off at the end of the year. Well, thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. Catch the Braves in action tomorrow at home versus Taylor. Another big week lays ahead for the girls and boys lacrosse teams. Thursday night, the girls team played Bellbrook in their first home game of the season, and the boys played Wyoming. We'll have these score updates in next week's episode. Both teams play again tomorrow. Girls at Shawnee at noon against Loveland and boys at Tomahawk against Columbus Academy. Be sure to come out and support. As for boys tennis, they blew out Oakwood 5-0 this past Tuesday and suffered a tough loss to Sycamore on Wednesday. Both baseball and softball have their opening day tonight at home. Swing by Home of the Braves to see these teams in action. Wow, Ella. That was a lot of news. I think I might need a break. <sighs> Me too. Let's send it back to the news desk to see what Lexi and Emily are doing. Wow. That was really good stuff, Nina and Ella. I wish you would have written the whole script. 
Indian Hill High School is preparing to stage Jesus Christ Superstar, the classic rock opera by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Covering the final days before the death of Jesus, the show features some top singing and dancing talent, so be sure to see the show April 20th or 21st, and or 22nd. Tickets will be available soon. April is Autism Awareness Month. Autism affects 1 in 68 children in the U.S. ASD is a developmental disability that can cause significant social, emotional, communication, and behavioral challenges, and includes autistic disorder, Asperger syndrome, and PDD NOS. ADAPT Community Network runs free workshops for individuals with ASD, parents, family members, caregivers, and professionals. Recent workshops have included information on supporting employees with ASD who can struggle with social communication and sensory issues in the workplace. The upcoming Family Connect Summit, funded by NYC Council's Autism Awareness Initiative, features free workshops on ASD. To learn more, register, follow the link below. Our school is hosting a music festival on April 28th. That's right, the day right after my birthday, April 28th. And we're seeking talented acts to perform. All genres are welcome. From rock to jazz, solo performers and bands can apply by scanning the QR code. For questions, please contact Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Schaefer, or Ashwini Krishnan. Brady Bell, an Indian Hill High School junior, won a $1,000 scholarship from the Cincinnati Arts Association Overture Awards competition. She was one of the finalists in the theater category and performed two pieces live in March. Congrats to Franny, who plans to pursue musical theater after high school. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning into our broadcast today, and I hope it was more entertaining than watching paint dry in detention. Remember to keep your heads up, spirits high, and your shoes tied, we don't want any embarrassing falls on the way to class. I fell up the stairs one time. Uh, okay. Well, until next time, this is ChatGPT reminding you to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, you cheeksters, stay classy, Indian Hill. Hello, Braves. We are going to go around and ask people to finish the lyric. <laughs> finish the lyric. Okay. West Virginia. Oh, shoot. I don't know the lyrics. Oh, like... We got her. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> California girls are undeniable. <laughs> Finish the lyric. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Let's play. Yeah. Finish the lyric. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. <laughs> Got it. Finish the lyric. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Watch me whip whip. Watch me nay nay. Okay. <laughs> Finish the lyric. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Finish the lyric. It's the remix to ignition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Finish the lyric. Hit it, Fergie. Every time I turn around, brothers turn around, always looking at me up and down, looking at me.